Hi, I'm Dan Schultz. My artwork is mostly traditional landscape painting in oil, but I also do some portrait and figurative work. The project I'm working on right now is trying to make a large landscape feel like a small landscape in, in the energy and, um, and the application of the paint. And it's no easy task, but I'm, I'm trying to do that. But another thing, and I think more importantly, I'm trying to be more focused and aware of painting like Dan Schultz. <laughs> I want to paint like me. I want to really be tuned in and think about how would I paint something, right? It's so easy to get sidetracked or influenced by other art that you might see. So I'm just really trying to focus in on painting like me. Repetition is such an important part of improving as an artist. I think for me, as a landscape painter, painting outdoors has really made a huge difference uh, in, in my ability. Just, it's helped me a lot with being able to see and recognize colors better, kind of training my eyes to see the colors more accurately and to judge comparisons between colors. You know, seeing the real thing outside is such a valuable help. Uh, it's also helped me to just kind of refine my my technique, you know, the way I'm laying the paint down, the, the method that I'm using to kind of build the painting. It's simplified all of that. And you know, this is this is over over years and hundreds and hundreds of paintings. And I think that's again that repetition is so important. And that's what really ends up paying off as you're, you know, working towards your improvement. And that's what a lot of people just aren't willing to do. So put in those extra hours and that will make a huge difference. My work has changed in I think a number of ways over the years. One of those would be in just my color palette. I'm, I'm painting in a lighter color range these days than I used to. And I'm using the same palette colors more or less, just kind of choosing to paint in that lighter color range. A lot of that has just come from painting outside and, and I think getting better at recognizing color and understanding how light works a little bit better. Uh, but I've also changed in, I think, um, maybe the simplicity of my choices. Uh, you know, just in technique, sort of simplifying, being able to say more with less, not being quite as tuned in to detail, not quite so detail oriented. Uh, and then I think I've also managed to get more expressive. And, and some of that has come just from becoming more familiar with those fundamental principles of painting so that those aren't quite so much in the front of my mind. And it, it can be a little bit more about being creative and expressive in the paintings. And I think if I were to go back in time and, and talk to myself, my former self, I would say just keep going, just keep painting. You know, there is a place for you. There's a place for your voice in the art world. And if you just keep going and keep working, you will find it. I think the most important stage of any project is every stage. <laughs> um, and I say that because projects can be so different. Um, for example, if I'm going to go, you know, plein air painting outside, I'm not going to do a lot of planning. I might choose where I'm going to go paint, but I'm not going to spend a lot of other time planning. I'm just going to go be spontaneous and pick something and paint it. And, uh, you know, on the other hand, if I'm developing a larger painting idea in my studio, I am going to spend quite a bit of time planning and preparing because a dynamic, you know, big painting is not going to happen accidentally. I mean, I've got to put in the effort to creating a strong design and really thinking through every stage of the process. But that's what makes the plein air painting so refreshing because it's spontaneous. So I think if you can just pay attention to each project and kind of what it demands from you or what you're wanting to get out of it, uh, that's something that I think helps me as I'm working through those things.